Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This video will show you how to fix weather app and widget not working on iPhone iOS 16. You can learn four proven methods here. First of all, you should enable the location service for weather app or widget. How to do that? Just open your iPhone, tap settings, and then choose privacy and security. Go to location services section and tap it. Now turn on the toggle option. After that, tap on weather option and choose to allow location access while using the app or widgets. Besides, you can also enable the precise location toggle. Secondly, you can update the iPhone to newest iOS version. Just go to tap settings. Choose general and then tap on software update. In seconds, it will check the updates for you iPhone. You can tap on download and install and then enter the screen passcode to update your iPhone to newest iOS version. Thirdly, you can reset location and privacy or network settings to fix weather app and widget not working issue. Just go to tap settings and choose general. Alright, scroll down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then choose reset and then reset location and privacy. Ok, it will ask you to enter the screen passcode to confirm. Tap on reset settings to reset your location and privacy settings to factory defaults. Finally, you can resort to the iOS repair software to repair iOS issues. In this way, you can make iPhone weather app and widget works normally. iSanshare iOS Repair Genius is chosen here to repair the problem. You can go to its official webpage and download the software. Then install it on your PC immediately. After that, get latest iTunes on your PC. Now, you can launch iOS Repair Genius and choose Standard Mode to proceed. OK, hit on start button to continue. Yes, you need to connect the iPhone to your PC now. It is better to put your iPhone into recovery mode so that the software can detect it quickly. Alright, return to the software and click on next. You can see the iPhone details now. Click on the download button to download the firmware package online. Well, now the firmware is verified. You can click on the repair button to repair the iOS system. You can see the iPhone is updating at the same time. When you see repair successfully message, the iPhone restarts and the issue is fixed. You can unlock the iPhone to have a check now. Well, that's all.
If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumb up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.